Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. I'm Jeff Kaufman and today I'm gonna to talk with you about the DNR, the out of hospital do not resuscitate order, DNR. This is a very, very important form for many of you. Since I've been in Texas, I've noticed that a lot of residents uh, don't have their DNR form in place. They're out of hospital DNR form. It's not in place. I don't know why this is. In other states that I've worked in, almost every single resident has a DNR form. I think that it's probably because families don't know what a DNR form is, and that's why I want to do this video, because it's really important to know. There's a difference between the out-of-hospital DNR form, which I'll put on the screen now so that you can see. This is a one-page form that if you have to call 911, goes to EMS when they walk in the door of a facility or even in your own home and tells them by looking at this form very quickly what your wishes are. They can glance at this form, but the second page is just instructions for issuing. So the only thing that you need is the first page, which is signed by you and your physician at the bottom of the page. If someone has dementia, and is unable to sign for themselves, then their medical power of attorney typically signs the bottom along with the physician. And then everything above that goes over some basic wants, what that person's wishes are. This is the only thing that 911 accepts. They will not look through advanced directives. To put it simply, advanced directives are very important and they're great, but they're more for the future. If someone's heart were to stop working and, we, and 911 was called, and they were put on a machine that kept their heart pumping and they went to the hospital and time goes by at the hospital on the machine and the heart is still working. The advanced directives gives whatever authority that it points out the power to not use those machines to keep someone alive. So the advanced directive is a legal form that's more for the future. It tells what you want in the future. The out-of-hospital do not resuscitate order is for right now. This is what EMS wants when they walk in the door. And any assisted living, memory care, or skilled nursing facility will have copies of these for 911 before they ever arrive. The reason that this form is very important is because in today's world of medicine, they'll keep you alive. However, what the body goes through, whether it's CPR, intubation, shocks. These are all things for someone without a DNR. If you do not have a DNR in place, you automatically default to full code, meaning they will do everything they can to keep you alive. Oftentimes when CPR is conducted on an elderly person, it could result in broken ribs, uh, internal organs being damaged, things that that person may not recover from anyway. That's why a lot of elderly want a DNR in place. I'm so happy you're watching this video, but I'm not a doctor. You really need to go speak with your doctor about a DNR. The out of hospital do not resuscitate order. The one I showed you is in the state of Texas where I am. Every state has this, but the form looks a little bit different. You can go on Google and Google it in your state and print the form up right there, but the doctor does have to sign it as it's a doctor's order form. So please, if you have a loved one who's getting more frail and you don't have an out of hospital, do not resuscitate order in place, and you haven't spoken with your loved one about it, please do talk with them and also include the physician in the conversation. They're gonna help explain why it's important to have this. It's not that I'm telling you to talk your loved one into having a do not resuscitate order if they don't want one. It's just what I found is a lot of people think that the advanced directives are the DNR and they are not. The advanced directives will not work with 911, but they will work once you're at the hospital. But a lot happens between calling 911 and arriving at the hospital. So please take this serious. It's a very simple form. Every single assisted living, memory care, or skilled nursing facility is trained in what this form is. Every facility has ways of knowing which of their residents is and isn't a do not resuscitate. Boy, that's a really heavy topic, I know, but it means a lot to me. I just feel like a lot of people don't know what this is and their doctors, for whatever reason, haven't spoken with them about it 
or they don't realize the importance of it. And that's why I wanted to make this video today. I hope you found it helpful. If you like the video, please go hit the like button. That tells YouTube if you like it, they share it with others. It's a simple formula. It helps me out as I make videos. And I want to get this information to as many people as possible. My name is Jeff Kaufman. I appreciate all of you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.